In this EpiSolar service tip video, we'll show you how to program a volt bar response curve as shown on screen. We will use the voltage reference values, the bar set point values that you can see in the following tables. To complete this process, you will need a laptop which you can connect an Ethernet cable to. You will also need an Ethernet cable. One end of this cable will be connected directly to the laptop while the other end will be connected to your Zebra Solar Inverter on the communications board as shown. Be sure to refit the cover before powering on the inverter. After powering on DC and AC of the inverter, scroll through the menu button until you arrive at the following screen. You may need to wait one to two minutes after powering on the inverter before the IP address is shown. Open a web browser and in the address bar, type in the IP address that you just saw, 169.254.1.100. When the screen loads, across the top, go to the Advanced tab. Open the Power Management Settings. Scroll down to the Reactive Power Limit section. Here you can choose the mode of operation. For a volt bar response, we will choose variable Q. Change the voltage set points as shown. Change the Q values as shown. Change the nature of the Q values as shown. Now press OK. Select active power feed in on overvolt limit, deactivate and press OK. We can reload the screen to verify the settings have been correctly set. Your Zebra Solar Inverter has now been programmed with a volt via response. For more Zebra Solar service tips, please see the link below. Thank you.